morning guys, Mark Frosch, Protect Dog Train, heading into town with Gunzo, who will be with me until the end of the week and then going home after his 30 day in kennel. Gunzo was a severe biting problem, uh, very aggressive, um, and then had no environmental or a very little environmental and a lot of things that were uh, little bats in the belfry, so to speak, that we had to work our way through. I think I've done a pretty good job with him. And now we're going to get to the point where we're going to go deliver him to the owner. And now the hardest part comes, the human factor. Believe me, the dog for me is easy. It's the education and getting the person that owns the dog to get off the park couch and put in the work to learn and grow and to get through and drive through to get to the other side where they now have, have their relationship dynamic growing so that it's conducive for the dog and conducive for them and now they end up having something that they never thought they could. A very well developed dog that kicks ass and takes name and they whole perspective of what a dog should be changes. You know what I mean? So it's all about the customer when we get to dog delivered back to the customer, right? Their education is paramount to a case like this if you're going to succeed. If you don't have the customer participating and putting their energy and getting off the couch, this dog will end up getting rehomed, placed, and or put down because people don't know what they're doing. So the owner can make the mistake and rehome them just to be able to get them a good loving home and it's all about the coddling, right? And People will tell you anything. They'll come at you and they'll do anything they can to get that animal. It happens to me all the time when I've got puppies. And so I learned to screen through that and make sure that I pick the right person for that animal, right? Or the right environment for that animal, right? So I'm hoping that the customer doesn't do that. The customer actually puts in the hard work and drives through his guns as a dang good dog. He just has a lot to be worked through because the owner didn't do the right things. Not their fault. They don't know, right? All right, so what I wanted to talk about today is what's in the title, puppy development. I've got two new puppies in, a brother and a sister. The male is gonna be available, I'm flipping him. So if anybody's interested that's a working dog trainer, working dog person, that really has a little bit more knowledge than just getting off the couch and saying, I wanna touch Shepherd because they're so cute. Oh, look at that. Okay, I won't sell to you, okay? I will sell it to those that really have a concerted effort into getting into their with their dog and have some knowledge base. Second, third dog, they've already maybe worked a shepherd towards IGP. Something that says that they are ready to go to that next stage and get a dog of this caliber. We're talking a Dutch shepherd. I do not sell the dogs that I have with the genetic package that I produce. Those dogs do not go to the general public as far as I'm concerned. There would only be one case that I sold a dog to a person that came to me that he, they had a referral from a professional. That being the case, I sold them the dog. And even with all that, they still didn't do everything totally right, right? And they still have problems with that dog that they could have overcome if they had the right relationship dynamic with that animal. My dogs aren't uh, pets. They're working dogs that need to be respected as that, right? You want a foo-foo, you want to coddle something, get yourself a poodle. <laughs> All right, so look for that. I'm going to be doing a whole series. You'll hear me yakking at the screen a lot with puppy development, and it'll go into a library with that name. It'll be puppy development, okay? I've already got a lot of vids in there now. I've got to go back and look and see what's all in that video, in that library, video library. Uh, but I will be doing a series and be doing a lot of yakking at the screen with these two puppies, so you'll see a lot of that. All right, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, signing off. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.